Nancy Pelosi just went on live TV, ripped off her mask, and showed us who she really is. It's another wicked witch of the West Coast. Nancy Pelosi is, and the rest of the Democratic Party are nothing but obstructionists. They will literally try and block anything that Trump does. Look what she says at the 5.28 mark. Nancy Pelosi responds to calls for new Democratic leadership. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi became a member oh, of Congress through a special election guy. 30 years ago. She has led House Democrats for the last 14 years, including a stint as the first female speaker. But the Democratic Party's losing streak in recent special elections prompted some House colleagues to question her leadership. Nancy Pelosi was a great speaker. She is a great leader. But her time has come and gone. I think it's time for change, and these election results frankly show that. If we're going to regain the majority in 2018, uh, we have to have new leadership. You think Sorry. Nancy Pelosi is more toxic than Donald Trump? You know what? The honest answer is, in some areas of the country, yes, she is. That's the honest answer. Congresswoman Nancy Pelosi, good morning. Good morning. You want to respond to what yeah. you well, Yeah, like I'm here and we're hearing all these other people. They had their time on TV. They, this is such a small item. It isn't about me. Right now, our fight is about the Affordable Care Act. I've always had a challenge in the caucus right from the start when I was first Okay, but let's look at this too. Uh, you have been losing special elections. Okay. And four of them, and people say it's because the Democratic Party, which you are a leader, has no message. Your only message is anti-Trump. Now, that is a fair. First of all, let me really? just say, these are four races we would never have chosen to go into. They were chosen by Donald Trump. Four races that were double-digit lead for the Republicans in previous elections. We picked up 70 points, 25 in, in, in one race, 15, 20, like that, in the four races. The people in those states are very happy because we pushed the Republicans very far back. Me, I like to yeah, win. Right. But this was, it, it, I, the people in Georgia worked very hard in Montana, all of those places, and they've made great progress leading up but to their government. They lost. They lost, they lost, but again, there are 70 races that are easier for us than any of those. We would never have chosen to go in. There was so much excitement in the country uh, to to act against uh, the election in November. So this is a, let's this these people were against me last November. They started this before. The fact is, the fact is this: I led in in a five and a six to take us to the majority. Became Speaker of the House. President Obama became president. He was our spokesperson for eight years. We just lost the election. We could write a, 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 a message, but the fact is we need our members to write the message. And they know full well that that is something we're working with the Senate to go forward. Why don't you think you should step aside? Let me tell you why I should stay instead. <laughs> because I'm a master legislator. I'm an experienced uh, uh, in terms of knowing institutional memory of, of the Congress. If Hillary Clinton had won, I might have gone home. But with Donald Trump in the White House, with a Republican majority in both houses, no way. After uh, President uh, Trump won, President Obama came out. I remember being at the White House, and he said, Democrats are characterized as coastal, liberal, latte-sipping, politically correct, out-of-touch folks. We have to be in those communities. How do you do that in 2018? Well, he was just president for eight years. I don't think he was describing himself but in he, that way. He's, he was describing the challenge you have in 2018. Well, it is. A, it, we always have a challenge, and that yeah, is, right. again, I take it back to Affordable Care so many people benefited from it. Some of affordable? Them the Where did they see it so as affordable? To, if you, I always say to people, it, it happens with your spouse as well. Mm -hmm. If you think you're communicating and they don't think you're communicating, you're not communicating. So it isn't about our agenda. It isn't even about our message. It's about our communication of it. And the uh, right now, this week, we're in a fight for our lives and the lives of many people in our country because we must defeat what is going on in the Senate. You said you're a master legislator. Let's see your sense of where the Congress is. What kind of bill will come out of the Senate? And, and we know that. Will the president and will the Republican get enough votes in the Senate to pass it? I don't think anybody knows that right now. Maybe Mitch McConnell does. 
But right now, at this moment on Monday, we haven't seen the CBO report yet. Uh, we do know that the uh, many more people, millions, hundreds of thousands of people will die if this bill passes. But you don't this think there's room to fix this legislation? You're saying no, out of hand. No, this is no, no, let me be very clear. Thank you for that question. The Affordable Care Act, we can work together uh, to... Republicans and Democrats can fix it. Absolutely. And that's what we had hoped that President Trump would want to do from the start. Instead of sabotaging it, some of the ills of it are because of the Republicans when they took power, not re, um, renewing some of the things that were in there. And any bill that is passed, you see implementation and you know how you can improve it. But these bills, systemically, structurally, they are very, very harmful to the American people. They will raise costs with fewer benefits, have an age tax. If you're 50, nobody here, of course, 50 to 64, uh, they will undermine Medicare. They will uh, throw millions of people, tens of millions of people off. Is there anything that you and the Republican bill, though, that you think that you all can work with? That no. you can sit down, nothing and willing to work with? Yeah. No, it's not a question of willing. Structurally, this undermines Medicare in the long run. This is so essential. So if this bill passes and goes back to the House, uh, can it pass in the House? It depends on how. If, see, right now they're going to the right in order to pick up votes. And if they pick up votes on the right, then they may lose the moderate right, votes right. that they got in the House. It's just great to have you here. It's my pleasure to be here. And uh, we have to have people write their senators, write their Congress people. And you're not going anywhere. And, well, I stay at the, at the uh, pleasure of my caucus, and I'm very pleased with the support that I have from them. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you. Woman, Nancy Pelosi. She's so out of touch, this woman. That pretty much spells out the end of the Democratic Party right there. Nancy Pelosi will not even try to work with President Trump at all. It's disgusting. The Democrats have now turned into obstructionists. They are doing nothing to help the people of this great country and are doing everything they can to hurt us. King is there. Anything in the Republican bill that you think you can work with? Pelosi? No. King? Nothing? No. Hashtag obstruction. The GOP. Off. Is there anything that you and think the Republican bill will, will, that you think that you all can work with? That yeah. you can sit down, nothing yeah. willing to work with? Yeah. No, it's not a question of willing. Share this far and wide, patriots. We need the entire nation to see what Nancy Pelosi has done to our country. These people are literally just obstructionists, and they don't care if this country burns around them as long as they are right in the end. God bless this country. Nancy Pelosi needs to lose her job. So totally right. What do they say, the affordable care? What affordable? What affordable. Everybody else has to break their backs going to work so the illegals can get free health care? Really? Think of another plan because we ain't going for it right now. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.